For this problem, we are given an electric circuit and have to calculate the current at the 2 ohms resistor. By Ohm's law, this is the voltage at this resistor divided by its resistance. The resistance is 2 ohms, but what about the voltage? Well, the voltage between here and here is exactly the total voltage, 20, minus whatever voltage is applied between here and here. And again, by Ohm's law, this is resistance, 1 ohm, times the current flowing through this resistor. Here we notice that the current flowing through R1 is equal to the total current in this circuit. The current only splits here, between R2 and R3. But everywhere else we have the same current. This is due to Kirchhoff's law. So we replace the total current by the total voltage, 20, divided by the total resistance in this circuit. And there we have it, we only need the total resistance to finish this problem. The total resistance is given first by a serial connection of R1 with the parallel connection of R2 and R3. Serial connections mean adding resistances and parallel connections mean adding their inverse and inverting again. This yields 5 over 3. If we plug this into our equation for the current we're interested in, this gives 4 amps. So answer B is correct. The important equations for this problem are Ohm's law, which connects voltage, resistance and current at every resistor, and Kirchhoff's laws that tell us that at every node the sum of incoming and outgoing currents is equal, and at every loop the voltages, measured in the same direction, add up to zero. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.